Hello friends, in this video I will show you how to draw ROC curve for a screening test. So here is my data and it contains the results of the screening test in column B and this test is ankle brachial index and this result shows the measurements of ankle brachial index in 150 limbs it comes up to 150 rows and column A displays the actual disease so this is actually the result of Doppler test if the person has disease the result is 1 here if he doesn't has if he doesn't has the disease then it is 0 so first we have to find the maximum and minimum in this so here I already found this maximum is 1.98 and minimum is 1.63 or 1.64 so we will write our thresholds here thresholds will be range from 0 0.6 to 2.0 so here I will write 0 0.6 in this 0 0.7 so this range will be up to 2.0 okay next we have to find the true positives so true positive means patient has disease means the result in a column it will be 1 and the screening test result is less than 0 0.6 so less than 0 0.6 in b column so we will write equal to count ifs for criteria range 1 we will select this A column then we will put a comma ok and for criteria we will write 1 since it has to be positive then the criteria range 2 for criteria range 2 we will select the B column then put a comma and after this it should be less than 0 0.6 so we will write concat less than symbol in double quotes comma this uh, i2 which is 0 0.6 and then we close the brackets ok so this will give us the two positives but here uh, we will put dollar symbols before this a and before this 2 then again before this A and before this 151 and we will also put dollar symbols before B before 2 and before B and 151 and then before I Okay, but we will not put dollar symbol before 2 so now we can copy this same formula for all the thresholds so now we have two positive rates at all the thresholds next we will find the false positive rate so we will copy this in FP so false positive rate means the patient is not diseased means it should be 0 in A column and test result is positive which means less than 0 0.6 so we will change this to 0 and this to less than 0 0.6 it is already less than 0 0.6 so we will click enter here now we will copy this so now we have all the 
false positives next we need the true negative so we will copy this here for true negative the test result in a column it should be 0 and in b column it should be greater than or equal to 0 0.6 so here in a column it is 0 and in b column instead of less than we will change it to greater than equal to so in this way we will get the true negative and we will copy this for all the thresholds next we need fal false negative so we will copy this for false negative you can see the test result in a column it should be 1 and the test result should be greater than or equal to 0 0.6 okay so we will change the a column result to 1 and this is already greater than or equal to i2 okay now we will copy this okay so now we have true positive false positive true negative and false negative next we find the false positive rate false positive is equal to false positive divided by false positive plus true negative so we will write this equal to false positive divided by false positive plus true negative okay so in this way we will get the false positive rate next we will find the true positive rate so true positive rate is equal to true positive divided by true positive plus a false negative so this is the true positive rate okay so now we have the false positive rate and true positive rate and now we can draw the ROC curve so for drawing the ROC curve we will select this data then go to insert then this and sorry uh, we will go to this charts so we will go to this scatter design so this is the ROC curve and we have to beautify this so we will do it here we will name it as ROC ROC curve let's bring it here okay so next is we have to remove this 1.2 we need only till 1 so we will change it here change chart we will chart elements so we can add legend uh, axis titles yeah, so this axis is the sensitivity and this is specificity okay and
format axis so here we can set the minimum and maximum so maximum i will change to 1.0 so here we can set major and minimum minor so i will change this to 0 0.1 and so this is fine here now we go to this axis here also we will change the maximum to 1.0 okay and we will make it square So this ROC curves seems fine. Uh, this one, this axis is not actually specificity. Is this is one minus specificity. Okay, so uh, now we need a diagonal here. So we'll write add select data okay here we go to add and series name 0 comma 0 sorry series name will be we will give some name later let it be 0 comma 0 x values 0 comma 1 and y values 0 comma 1 okay so it has already drawn this and click ok so now we have the ROC curve here okay we can place it here so we can copy it and put in any word file so that's all in this video thank you very much for watching this